What a wonderful old classic, Toot Toot Tootsie Goodbye, written by Gus Kahn, Ernie Erdman, and Dan Russo in 1922. It was recorded by Al Jolson, and then later on in 1927, it was a featured song in Al Jolson's movie, The Jazz Singer. And it's been done many times by thousands of singers since then. It It is a classic uh, 1920s tune. It um, would be a perfect uh, vehicle for the banjo ukulele, which I'm playing it on. The banjo ukulele actually was uh, devised around 1917, uh, just shortly after the ukulele explosion of 1915 when the Pan Pacific Exposition, exposition uh, came to San Francisco. And the banjo ukulele is just a, a combination of the banjo with the ukulele uh, four strings in tuning and nylon strings, or in those days it was gut strings, has a banjo head on it. Uh, some have a resonator like this one. You can see it on the back. Some just have an open back on the banjo itself. A little bridge, a movable bridge like all banjos have. Um, the skin on this banjo is a synthetic one to be similar to the calf skins that they had way back in the 1920s. It doesn't uh, uh, flex as much as those and so it doesn't go out of tune quite so much. But it, it is a delicately tuned instrument. Any banjo is tricky to tune and then to keep in tune because the changes in, in uh, air pressure, barometric pressure and temperature and everything will cause the head to move up and down and tighten and, and loosen up and that changes the tuning. So um, just uh, you play it just like a regular banjo but you get the, or rather, excuse me, like a regular ukulele, but you get this wonderful banjo sound. Now typically when I play the ukulele, I like to play it more up around the fingerboard to get a mellower, rounder, fuller sound. But get, to get a more of a brassy kind of a bright a timbre from the banjo lele or the banjo ukulele, um, I would suggest you try to play more over the head. Now, my tendency is still to go up here, so I have to kind of force myself to play back here when I uh, switch from a, a standard ukulele to the banjo ukulele. So the strum in uh, to -to Tootsie is down, down, up, down, down, up, so we're going... And listen to how I accent that second down. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And the other little element that I'm doing there too is the first down, I'm striking basically the first couple of strings, the fourth and the third. So I go down, down, up, down, down, up. And the second down, the accented one, I'm playing mostly the higher strings, the first, second, and the third a little bit. And so to do that, you got to kind of rotate your wrist a little bit between the first down and the second down. Now if I played it uniformly all the way through, it would sound like this. Now listen to it as I rotate it. Hear the difference? Now when you do that with a chord, you get this kind of a sound. So the first down I'm playing, those bottom strings, the second down. So you have that variation between the low strings and the high strings. Get that? It takes some practice to get the feel of that, but uh, trust me, it gives more energy to your playing. It gives a more professional sound to it. Um, it just pushes it on. Now, if you a little bit about the chords, we have a C chord, a D7, G7, and back to C. Now, then we have a C sharp diminished, and that's the one up here in the first fret. I'm on the first fret of the first string. Index fingers on the first fret of the third string. And then I go to a D minor seventh, which is just a D minor. And you add a little pinky on the third fret of the first string. And then to a G seventh. Then we've got an interesting chord. G seventh plus five. And the way I'm playing that is the index fingers on the first fret of the second the middle finger is on the second fret of the first, and then you got to get your ring finger over here on the third fret of the third string. Then we have the E flat diminished, 
and that's our diminished chord at the second fret. And then a little later on in the tune, we've got our good old F chord. And then right at the very end, I go to 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 see goodbye. When I play the four strings open, I've got a C sixth chord. And it's a nice little stinger chord to add to the end of the tune. Okay, so in practicing this, I would suggest you start off at a fairly slow to moderate tempo. And once you start to get comfortable with the chords, then you can start increasing it. So you got that ragtime feel that, and a, you know, kind of a ragtime up tempo kind of feel. Now, there's this one little section where you got that G7 plus five, and I'm doing some what I call tacit strumming. That means you hit the chord once, let it ring. You don't continue the strum through. So uh, listen, and I think you'll hear what I'm saying. The choo -choo train that takes me away from you. No words can tell how sad that makes me. Kiss me. So those G7 plus fives, I just play. No words can tell me how sad it makes me. G7 plus five. I'll do it again. The choo choo train that. Whoops, I'll get it. The choo choo train that takes me away from you. No words can tell how sad it makes me. Kiss me, Tootsie, and then do it over again. C7. Forgot to mention that chord. Watch for the mail. little thing that I'm doing here which is so typical of this era. Take a G7 chord and slide it down one fret so the index finger pops off because there's no fret up here to play. And so you can put that in, let's see if I can do it here. Kiss me on the C7. I also did it on the D7 where I lift the ring finger up. So I'll try to put all three of them in here. Kiss me tootsie and then do it over again. Watch for the mail. Did you catch it? I'll do it again. Kiss me figure there which is a little rundown going to the C7 so you go kiss me tootsie and then do it over again watch for the mail now you don't have to have a banjo ukulele to play this tune you can do it on a regular uke soprano tenor concert band baritone whatever you want I just I, I just felt like I'd like to do it on my banjo uke today so there you go, Toot Toot Tootsie, a great old time song. Have fun with it and happy strumming. By the light of the 